And we've got more inspired and inspiring movement up next with a local Filipino dance group that's celebrating its 10th anniversary. This is a dance for Mother Earth, a dance to celebrate the land that gives us life. Lupa ay buhay, buhay ay lupa. To me, it means that you can't live life without the earth that we have. They are Katara, a collective of dancers with roots in the Mindanao region of the Philippines. The group utilizes the costumes and instruments of their ancestors in an effort to embrace and share this ancient culture. To me, the value is the ability to share and be heard, to be a bit of their voice here in Canada. This dance is called Tibli, named after a tribe from the south. The Tibli piece is a bit of a start of a courtship dance where the two females are sharing, talking, and showing themselves as a woman, as a mother, and their role. Later on in the sequence, uh, a man will come in and dance and try to capture one. <laughs> And Mandaya is a piece about the creation of mankind, sort of like Adam and Eve meeting for the first time. The first man and woman are born on the river, and, and then they meet each other, and they have their first instances of connecting to Earth and dancing. Over the past 10 years, Katara has been a strong supporter of a southern Filipino tribe called the Lumads. They're an indigenous people they say is being displaced due to mining interests of international corporations. Once uh, these companies go and extract these uh, resources, the Lumads experience displacement, experience violence, experience racism, experience uh, marginalized living situation. I am Lumad. Indigenous, my spirit and my veins. The goal is through the power of song, dance, and poetry, people will be aware of the plight these and other indigenous people all over the world face so that one day they may thrive on their ancestral land once again. The food that we eat or the, the products that we consume, these are conscious efforts, conscious choices that people can make and make that connection with land and make that connection with ancestors that is based out of respect, harmony, and sustainable way of living with one another. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express.